Good morning, grade 6. Hope you're doing great. Today, we will discuss paper 1 of the progression test of year 2017-2018. Of course, paper 1 is for non-fiction texts. Let's discuss the texts together first. Text A is called The Magic of Fireflies. It's an information text about fireflies. He started his first paragraph with a rhetorical question to grab the reader's attention and then started discussing facts about fireflies. The text is mainly facts except for three phrases, the magic of fireflies, amazingly, and it is difficult to believe. Each paragraph is started with a topic sentence that tells you what the paragraph is going to be about. In the third paragraph, you have the stages of the firefly's life. So, since we say, stated it's, a, it's stages, so he's starting each stage with uh, a time phrase, like in late spring and after three weeks. The first paragraph is talking about what is a firefly and then talks about the glow of the firefly the third is the life cycle of it and since we are talking about life cycle so it has lots of connectives to show the stages and the last is their habitat where shall I find them their home this is text a of course it's all in the present tense because it's talking about facts Text B, entitled Catching and Keeping Fireflies. When you look at text B, you will find that it is filled with imperative verbs or passive verbs. And from that, we can conclude that it's an instruction text instructing the reader as how to catch fireflies and how to take care of it. Just like when he used hold, screw, put, unscrew, don't put, and so on. Each paragraph in the text talks about a different idea, but they are all arranged chronologically and logically. First, how to catch the firefly, and then how to keep it. Each instruction is followed by an explanation. Like, for example, do not punch air holes in the lid is followed by why shouldn't I punch air holes in the lid because air holes dry out the air in the jar and fireflies need damp air to survive that's why you have to he he's wrote, he has written um, an explanation after each instruction he used also, don't, don't forget the usage of connectives before each stage to show you what would happen. For example, like once, like other things also. And then, let's see the questions. Question 1 says, How... Is firefly different from other members of its family and this is an easy one it's a content one but you have to write only it has wings or the wings without any addition as you will see in this exam he needs the answer to be very specific and to the point without any further addition question 2 how does a firefly control its light by controlling its breathing or breathing alone is enough but any additional answer would cancel the whole answer you will lose the whole mark question 3 is an important question and your answer should be very specific as he is stating not to accept any generic answer the answer would identify one of the following ideas only First, he asked for the effect of using a short sentence in line 10 
when he said but this is but this can be risky you have to link your answer to the you have to link your answer directly to the fireflies stating that introdu introduces a surprising or a shocking fact it emphasizes the idea of danger your answer has to show that short sentence show that it is dangerous is also stating not to accept generic answers, those that do not relate to the Firefly's text. For example, it adds dramatic effect or makes the text more interesting or, make, or make, it makes the reader want to read on or it creates suspense. All of these are not applicable to non-fiction texts. Question 4 explains in your own words. How some female fireflies trick the males of other species. Since he has written in your own words, this means that you, the answer has to be in your own words with no copying from the text. I would one mark for each of the following up to maximum two marks. Since you have two marks, most probably you would need to write two things. So the two ideas here are that some female fireflies copy the flashing patterns of other species or pretend to be another species. And the second idea is that female encourage a male to come close to them. Do not accept quotation from the text. And if you wrote one answer only of or one idea only of these two, you would take only one mark. Question five. Complete the stages of firefly life cycle in order. The first stage has been done for you. You have to write three correct stages after it. You have to have three words written in the correct order. Lava, pupa, adult. If you, have, if you write lava, pupa, firefly, this is considered wrong. Adult firefly is okay. And the three stages has to be. The three stages have to be correct and in the correct order. Question 6. They are found in a variety of habitats. What verb form is used in this sentence? Verb form here is used instead of the word voice, asking whether it's active or passive. The easiest way to answer this kind of question is to write all the the ideas that you know about the paragraph, sorry, about the verb. So this verb is in the present tense, it's in the present simple tense, and in the passive form. But the most important thing is to state whether it's active or passive. So look carefully at the verb and see if it's in the active form or in the passive form. Here. Are found is found in the passive form. Question 7. Explain why a colon has been used in the fourth paragraph. And when, in such questions, your answer has to be linked directly to the firefly text or the text that you're talking about. Do not try general answers. Your answer has to be specific to this text only it comes before a list and or it's the second part gives example relating to the first part if you write it splits the sentence into two related marks you will not take the mark because he is stating not to accept generic answers or those who are not related to fireflies text question 8 complete the facts below using information in the text this questions although he asks for several things in each box has only three marks so each box is awarded one mark even if you have to write three things so he needs three features of the fireflies body you have to write three different body features so he has bo flat body large eyes short antenna wings or can glow two weather conditions popular with fireflies 
Yeah, one mark for warm and humid. You have to write both words. Three colors of a firefly's glow. A word, one mark for all three of the following, green, orange, and yellow. You have to write the three colors. If you wrote the whole sentence which has the answer, it might be accepted. Question nine. These subheadings belong to the text. Number the subheadings to match the order of the paragraph. The easiest way to answer such question is to look back at the topic sentence, to remember what the paragraph was talking about, and then number the texts. So the whole life cycle would be number three, patterns of life would be two, flies, beetles, or worms, this is one, where is home, this is four. You have to write the four correct in order to have the two marks. If you have two wrong, you will have only one mark. Question 10. Subheadings are a feature of reports. Name two other features of reports as shown in text A. So your answer would, it's a must that it would be found in text in the text all in the text just like third person present tense formal language facts technical subject specific language do not accept generic features of all text type means the things that are found in all the texts like paragraphs or titles or all para all texts are written in paragraphs and all texts have titles. You have to write something specific for a report. Question 11. Find one quotation that shows the writer thinks fireflies are fascinating. The writer thinks means that you would write his opinion. We have three opinion phrases. You can write any of them. Amazingly, it is difficult to believe the magic of fireflies. You can write the whole sentence or you can write only the opinion phrase. Both are correct. All what is written between brackets in the work scheme is neutral. But what's outside the brackets is a must. They must be found. But what's between the brackets is not in order to write. Question 12 asks about modal verbs and modal verbs like must, should, have to, can, could, may, and might are used to show some reasons. For example, must is used for order, should used for advice, can and could used for ability, may and might are used for probability. Should is used for advice. The easiest thing to do in order to answer such question is to go back to the text and think about the reason he has written this sentence for you. A word or mark for answers which identify that the sentence gives advice about the best thing to do rather than an instruction that tells the, re the reader what to do. To give advice or to tell the reader the best thing to do. Do not right to tell the reader what they should do because you're repeating the questions once again question 13 in line in line 5 why do you think do not is written in capital letters capital letters in non-fiction texts are used either to grab the reader's attention or to show that this thing is important so you have to go back to the text and find out why he used it in this part. You have to link your answer to the text that you're right answering in the exam. A word will mark for an answer that identify one of the following. To emphasize the importance, the importance of the instruction, because the instruction is essential, because the firefly will die if you ignore the instruction. So you have to link not do not do the instruction it has don't keep it vague don't keep it general 
question 14 write a sentence saying what will happen if holes are punched in the lid of the jaw start your sentence with the word if so I'm going to use the conditionals first think about the result of punching holes okay so if I punch hole what will happen if you according to the text if you punch the hole the air dries and the firefly die so I this is the first thing I right? now I know the two clauses and then I would think about which clause shall I use uh, zero first second or third since it's a high probability I'm going to use the first conditional it's going to be like this if you punch holes in the lid the air in the jar will might or could dry out if you punch holes in the lid the firefly will might could die do not accept if you punch holes in the lid the firefly will might or could get out because the firefly is bigger than the hole so it cannot fly Question 15. What helps to keep the air in the jar damp? Dick, tick one box only. So I'm going to tick one, on, one box only. And it has to be very clear. Don't make vague marks. Question 16. How can you add new air in the jar? Unscrew the jar lid and blow across the top of the jar. The most important part of your answer is blow across the top. Because this is how you put the, the new air. Question 17. Why does the writer use short sentence in line 11 and 12? Again, he is using or he is asking about short sentence. In the first part, he uses to show that it was risky was dangerous but here is a different usage for the short sentence depending on the context it is used in here it is used to make the sentence clear or easy to read or understand or to separate the instructions from the explanation so as it is clear for you now you have to go back to the text in order to find out why did he use short sentence in this part specifically Question 18. Explain in your own words, words why it is not fair to keep a firefly in a jar for more than two or three days. The question here is asking about why shouldn't I keep it for a long time, not why shouldn't I keep it in the first place. So it's not why not don't keep it for a long time, why should it be short? And I have to write the answer in my own words, not quote from the text. So avoid one mic for one of the following. Fireflies live for a short time. A firefly would spend most of its life in the jar. The firefly would not be able to spend most of its life flying around naturally. Do not accept. Answer that only state that a firefly might die. This is not the only reason. Question 19. In question 19, how is the main purpose of text B different from the main purpose of text A? And I have two marks, so I'm going to write the purposes of text A and B. The first text is to inform or tell you about something. The second text is to instruct or tell you how to do something. Now, let's go to the writing. The writing section here is a little bit tricky. So please pay attention. The second, the second text explains how to take care of a firefly. Write about how to take care for a different animal. Take how to take care for a different animal. So I'm going to instruct and tell the right, the audience how to take care of it. Remember to say. So I'm going. What follows is a must in my writing. I must include the following points. So let's see what is what is a must in the writing. Choose an animal you know lots about. 
example, your favorite animal or pet. Of course, you have to choose something that you know about. Lots of information, not because you like koala, for example. I would write about koala, although I don't have any information about it. Choose something that you know information about. Think about the important information you need to include. So there are some information that should be included in the text. Think about extra information you can include to make your article more interesting. So here is another point. I'll add some interesting information about the animal I'm talking about. Include instructions about how to care for the animal. Instruction means bossy verbs, means imperative verbs. So I'm going to use some imperative verbs to explain to the reader how to care for the animal I've chosen. The last point he added is that I must organize my article in paragraphs, and this means that I cannot use bullet points. I must write all my article in paragraphs. So, to conclude, these are the points that you have to take care of while writing your article. First, you have to write in paragraphs. Then. You have to add some information about the animal to introduce it to the reader. So the reader would know the animal that you're talking about. Then I would ha add some interesting facts about it. Any interesting facts that I know. And third, I'll add some instructions of how to take care of it. And again, since we said instructions, this means I'm going to use some imperative verbs. The article is going to be written in the third person, in the present tense, and in logical order. Don't forget to use bossy verbs while writing in instruction and don't write bullet points. The whole article should be written in paragraphs. This is the end of paper one analysis. Hope it was helpful. Stay safe and healthy and best of luck.